Oh, hi everyone. Welcome to the classroom. We have lots of fun things planned for you today with this big tank of water. Can you guess what we might be doing with this big tank of water? Hmm, maybe going for a swim. Glub, 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 glub. Um, this tank of water is probably too small to go swimming in, but it's the perfect size for the game that we're going to play today. We're going to play a game of sink or float. Sink or float. What will it be? I don't know. We will find out. I can't wait to play with all of you today. First, let's give all of our friends a big hello. Let's wave our hands and we can sing all together. When I sing, my name is Katie, you can sing, my name is, and shout out your name nice and loud. Are you ready? Me too. Here we go. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie, my name is... That's your part. Shout out your name nice and loud. Nice to meet you. Let's sing hello to some of our friends watching today. Hello, hello, hello to Caleb and Savannah from Illinois. Hello, hello, hello to Michelangelo and Ethan. My name is Katie, my name is... What's your name? I see Faza and Michelangelo. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. A big hello to all of our friends watching today. Amy and Elizabeth in Costa Rica. And Yang Jom and Norsang from Nepal. So glad that you're here because I'm so excited for our sink or float game. I'm glad that you're excited too. Vazaz all excited to see what's going to sink or float. I can't wait. Hmm. But wait a minute. What is sink or float? Hmm. Well, sink or float is what happens to objects when they go in the water. Some things sink and some things float, and there's a big difference. Let's take a look at the window. Let's see. Aha, see the rock? The rock is at the bottom of the water. That's sink. When things in the water go to the bottom, that means they sink. And float is the opposite. See the rubber ducky? The rubber ducky isn't at the bottom with the rock, it's at the top. When things in the water stay at the top, that means they float. You're right, Ethan's, they're opposites. Now we know that sink means they go to the bottom and float means they stay at the top of the water. And I think we're ready to play our sink and float game. So here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna press the button. We're gonna see an object in the window and we'll think and decide together. Will it sink or will it float? Then we'll put it in the tank of water and see what happens. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to push the button. Let's see. What will it be? Hmm. An apple. Okay, let's see. Do you think an apple will sink or will an apple float? Well, an apple, it's pretty light. Hmm. We can bite into it and chew it. What do you think will happen if we put it in the water? Sink or float? Before we started, some people were saying it might sink, it might float. Let's put it in the water and just see what happens, shall we? Here we go. Kira Rose says the apple will sink. Let's see. We'll count to three and put it in. One, two, three. Look. The apple floats. Kind of surprising, isn't it? Because it's so big, but the apple weighs less than the water, so it stays on top. It floats. Jocelyn and Owen said float, and Eleanor said float. You were right. Great job. Let's see what else will happen. Push the button. 
What will it be? Sink or float can sometimes be difficult. Ooh, a coin. All right, what do you think? I have a coin here. It's a Canadian toonie. Do you think this will sink or will it float? It's really hard. Hmm, I can't bend it or anything. So it's very firm. Hmm, what do you think will happen? Sink or float? Let's find out. Let's count to three. We'll drop it in. One, two, three. Woo! It sinks. Ethan, you're right. It sinks. Caleb and Camilla and Carlos and Edison. You're right. All the way down to the bottom. It even made a bit of a splash. The coin sunk really fast. I think because it's so firm and it's a little bit heavy, even though it's so small, it goes right down to the bottom. Nice work, everybody. Antonio and Jocelyn and Owen, you all got it. We have one float, one sink. Let's see what's next. Press the button. Hmm. Penelope says that coins sink in a wishing well. That's true. What's this? That's a marble. I got a marble here. What do you think will happen to the marble when we put it in the water? Will it sink or will it float? Hmm, it's pretty hard. If I tap it on the desk, it makes a really hard sound. So it's a hard object, kind of like the coin. The coin was really hard too. Do you think it'll sink like the coin? Let's find out. We'll count to three. One, two, I'm going to drop it up here for fun. Three. Bloop. Oh, look. What happened to the marble? Nina and Faza say sink. There it is. It's way down here. It even rolled a little bit. There it is. The marble sinks right to the bottom, just like the coin. Good guesses, everybody. Caleb and Octavio said sink. It sure did. What will be next? We'll push the button. Here we go. What can it be? That marble definitely sinks. A pencil. Hmm. Now this one could be a little tricky. Do you think a pencil will sink or will it float? Let's see. It's made out of wood, but it has some hard parts too. Let's drop it in the water and find out, shall we? Let's count to three. One, two, three. Here comes the pencil. Oh, look. The pencil floats on top. Look at that. It's like a log floating in the water. <laughs> a pencil is pretty light and it's made out of wood and wood usually floats too. Caitlin says the pencil will float. Ellie and Blake and Layla say float. You're right. Good job. Give yourselves a big clap. Let's find another thing. What will it be? Push the button. Sink or float, sink or float. What will it be? We will find out. Hmm, a potato. Okay, a potato. Will that sink or will that float? It's a vegetable. It grows in the ground. They make delicious french fries, but will it sink or will it float? Hmm. Well, the apple, the apple floated. And is the potato like the apple? A little bit, but you know what? It feels a lot harder than the apple. We can bite into an apple, but I wouldn't want to bite into a raw potato. Mm -mm. So it seems like it's a lot denser than the apple. I wonder if that means if it'll sink or it will float. Let's find out. Talia says it'll sink. Octavio guesses sink. Ellie says definitely sink. All right, let's count to three and find out. One, two. It's gonna dive right in. Whoosh, there it goes. What happened to the potato? It sunk, went right down to the bottom. It even did a little bounce. Yeah, the potato is a lot heavier and it's really firm, more than the apple. So it sunk right to the bottom, whereas the apple floats on top, still going strong. 
Nice job, everybody. Lexi said sink. Clarky and Evie said sink. Great job. Let's play another one. Here we go. Press the button. What will it be? Nora Sang said sink. Nice job. Hmm, a sponge. Okay. What do you think about a sponge? Will a sponge sink or will a sponge float? Let's see. Well, it's really squishy. I can squish it right up. And it's really light. It almost feels like there's nothing there. It's so light. And have you ever played with a sponge in the bath? Do you remember whether it sinks or floats? Let's put it in the tank and we'll find out. Let's count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> what happened? The sponge is floating. Talia says float. Eleanor says float. Aloha from Maui. Oh, aloha from Maui. That, that's hello from Maui. <laughs> that says the sponge will float. It's going right on top because it's so light and filled with air. It floats right on top of the water. Let's play again. Here we go. Push the button. Oh, Caleb and Savannah. Caleb thought it would sink. Savannah thought it would float. It can be tricky. Oh, look at this. A bottle of water. Okay, so this one's a little bit tricky. I have here a, a bottle of juice and you can see, I'm going to give you a hint, the water is all the way up to the top. So there's no air inside of this bottle and air always floats. So what do you think will happen to this bottle? Will it sink or will it float? Hmm, let's see, it's pretty heavy feeling really heavy. If there was less juice in the bottle, it would be less heavy. So we'll see what happens when we put it in the tank. What do you think? Ariana says it's going to sink. Hamza says it will sink. Let's put it in and see. One, two, three. Bloop. Woof. Right down to the bottom. Anna Joy said it would sink. Xander, Jake, and Taysom, and Parker says, sink right down to the bottom. There it is. And you can see the little air bubbles that were left. Can you see that right there? Right over there. The air is up at the top of the bottle because the air wants to get right up to the top. Air always floats up to the top, so it's trying really hard, but the bottle is stopping it. Isn't that neat? Good guessing, everybody. Oh, Jocelyn and Owen says, sink. Everybody said sink. You knew it would sink. Great work, everyone. I think we're getting the hang of it. Let's keep going. Push the button. What will it be? Hmm. Oh, a spoon. Okay. What do you think? Will the spoon sink or float? Now, the spoon, it's really hard, too. It makes that sound kind of like the marble did. And you can't bend it, you can't move it at all. It's really hard and really firm. Feels a little bit heavy too. So that tells me this is a really dense thing. Will it sink or will it float? Let's find out. Let's count to three, we'll put it in, here we go. One, two, three. Woof, right down to the bottom. Made a loud sound too. Let's see, who guessed that it would sink? Nina said the spoon would sink. It's way back here now. Francesco said the spoon would sink. Let's see, Franche yeah, Francesco said it would sink. Eleanor said it would sink. Very nice job, everybody. Yeah, because it's so hard, that means it's really dense and dense objects sink right to the bottom. Mickey and Louie said sink. That's right, let's play again. You never want to drop your spoon in your bathroom. Go right to the bottom. <laughs> okay. A stick. Hmm. Does this remind you of anything else that we put in the tank before? We find a stick in the park. It's made out of wood. And wood, like the pencil, the wood in the pencil, it, it floats on the top. So what do you think will happen to the stick? Hmm. I think the stick might float just like the pencil. 
and I've seen lots of sticks floating down the river. Do you think it'll float too? Let's try it. Here we go. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Woof! It floats right on top, just like the pencil. Wood usually floats because it's not very dense. Aurelia says it will float. Blake and Ethan, Alexis and Ariana say float. Nina said it would float just like the pencil. You're right. Nice work, everybody. Okay, let's do one more sink or float game. Okay, let's press the button. We'll see what it's going to be. Push it. Hmm. Aha! A sailboat. Okay, this looks like a sailboat you might play with in the bathtub. Hmm, do you think the sailboat will sink or will the sailboat float? Let's put it in the tank, we'll find out. Here we go, let's float over here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I might have just given it away. <laughs> I think you know whether a sailboat will sink or float though, right? Let's put it in the water, we'll find out. One, two, three. sailboat. So nice. You're right, everybody. The sailboat floats. Nice job, Carlos, Gabriel. Roxy says it floats just like a real boat. Have you ever seen a real big sailboat floating on the water? I love watching those sailboats float back and forth with their big sails. They're so nice to watch. Let's sing a song about a sailboat, everybody. How about 10 little sailboats? We can practice our counting too. Great job with the sink or float game, everyone. You can give yourselves a big clap. Hooray! Let's get our fingers ready to count 10 little sailboats together. Here we go. <laughs> One little, two little, three little sailboats, four little, five little six little sailboats seven little eight little nine little sailboats ten little sailboats floating <laughs> let's count backwards start with ten sailboats ten little nine little eight little sailboats seven little six little five little sailboats four little three little two little sailboats little sailboat. Let's count them together. One sailboat, two sailboats, three sailboats, four sailboats, five sailboats, six sailboats, seven sailboats, eight sailboats, nine sailboats, ten sailboats. Nice counting everybody. Let's try again. One little, two little, three little sailboats, four little, five little, six little sailboats, seven little, eight little, nine little sailboats, ten little sailboats. Let's count backwards. Ten little, nine little, eight little sailboats, seven little, six little, five little sailboats, four little, three little, two little sailboats, one little sailboat floating on the water. Nice counting, everybody, and singing and clapping along. Give yourselves a big clap. Nice job. Reina, you were counting along on your fingers. Only one years old. Nice job. Thanks for singing along, everybody. Oh, boats are so much fun to count and to float with on the water. That reminds me. Captain Crocodile, he had a little trouble with his boat a while back. Mm -hmm. Now a good boat always floats, like our sailboat, but his boat kept floating away. That's not good. So he went to see Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic. So let's see what Mr. Monkey did to help Captain Crocodile and his floating boat. <laughs> Thank you.
Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was weighing a big shipment of heavy banana crates. It's heavy lifting, and Mr. Monkey was having to work extra hard. Oh my, a visitor? Who could it be? It's Captain Crocodile and his great big boat. Ahoy, Mr. Monkey, said Captain Crocodile. Ahoy, Captain. What seems to be the trouble? It's my boat, Mr. Monkey. It never stays where I leave it. When I sail out to my favorite swimming spot and drop anchor, my boat just floats away. I'm always having to swim after it. Captain Crocodile is a great swimmer, but it must be exhausting chasing that boat all over the bay. Mr. Monkey inspects Captain Crocodile's big boat. First, he checks the steering wheel. He checks the horn. Then he checks the anchor. Hmm, this seems like a small anchor for such a big boat. According to Mr. Monkey's scale, it's not very heavy. Hmm, Mr. Monkey has a big idea. So he swings off to his workbench. Now let's see. Captain Crocodile has a great big boat and a very small anchor. Anchors are meant to be big and heavy to keep the boat in place. Perhaps the boat needs a bigger, heavier anchor, one that's heavy enough to keep the boat from drifting away. Hmm, Mr. Monkey doesn't have a big, heavy anchor, but maybe he can make one. He'll need some heavy things and something big to put them in. One of those banana crates should do the trick. Now Mr. Monkey just needs to fill it with heavy things. Oh, and of course, Mr. Monkey will also need his trusty monkey wrench. Mr. Monkey has replaced Captain Crocodile's anchor with a bigger, heavier anchor. It's heavy enough to keep the boat from drifting away, but it's not too heavy for Captain Crocodile to lift. You've saved my boat, Mr. Monkey. And just in time for my afternoon swim. What's this? The boat won't budge. Well, at least we know the anchor works. That was definitely some heavy lifting. Now Mr. Monkey deserves a light snack. Monkey helped Captain Crocodile with a heavy anchor for his boat. You're right, Penelope. Mr. Monkey is so smart. He always knows just what to do. If you'd like to see more episodes of Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, they're all on the Super Simple TV YouTube channel. And we just started a second season for Mr. Monkey, so you can see all the new episodes on there too. They're up there and ready to go. So check out Super Simple TV for a whole bunch of brand new episodes of Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic. They're really exciting. Sky watched some Mr. Monkey this morning and now is eating bananas. That's a great idea. It's such a good idea to put something heavy on your boat as an anchor so that it doesn't float away. Now, do you think Captain Crocodile's anchor will sink or float? What do you think? It'll sink, of course. It's so heavy. 
It'll go straight to the bottom like this. Whoop, right down. I know something that will sink, but it moves slowly like this. You wanna see? I'll show you. Now this is really neat. Okay, we're gonna use some shaving cream. Got some shaving cream here. Give it a shake, 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 shake. We're gonna put it on top of the water like this. There we go, lots of shaving cream all on top. I'm gonna give it another big shake, 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 shake. There we go. We're gonna put all the shaving cream on top of our water and shaving cream is really light and fluffy, so it's gonna float for sure. Get lots on there. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like a big fluffy cloud, doesn't it? If you're gonna try this at home, make sure that you have some grown-up help to do the shaving cream. It can be a bit of an arm workout too. Okay, we got shaving cream all on top of our water. And I have some food coloring here, some different colors. Got some green, blue, and this is like a, a purple or a pink, I think. We'll see, it might be more of a purple. We're gonna drop these um, drops of the food coloring on the shaving cream and we'll see what happens when it comes out the other side. What color should I use? I'm gonna start with blue. Blue's my favorite color. Let's see, I'm gonna drop some food coloring on the shaving cream. We'll see what happens. Remember, it's gonna go slowly. Let's try some green, what do you think? Add some green. Do you see the blue starting to go down? What other color? All right, the green for Talia. How about the purple for Blake? Blake likes purple. Okay, we got lots of drops on there. You can see what's gonna happen. I might have put too much shaving cream on. <laughs> You can see the blue one starting to go down really slowly. Not like an anchor at all. Slowly going down. Look at that. I think the other ones are gonna start coming through soon. Really slowly. They're slowly trickling through the shaving cream. Let's look. Hmm. Let's add some more over here where it's not as thick. Look at that! Look, the purple is coming right down. It's like it's raining colors. Slowly sinking down to the bottom. Really neat, isn't it? Yeah, like a big rainbow cloud. How we get some blue or some green? We'll add some green over here where it's a little bit thinner. Slowly sinking down. Here it goes. Maybe I'll help it through a bit. <laughs> wow, so pretty. Get some green. I'm gonna try and poke it through so it gets through a little faster. Look, here comes some green. <laughs> right down. Wow, so pretty. Slowly floating down to the bottom. Purple, green, and blue raindrops slowly falling. So nice. It's so pretty to watch, isn't it? all the other colors. They got all stuck in the shaving cream. <laughs> so pretty. Maybe a 
little bit more purple. Look at them go! A little bit more blue. Slowly sinking down to the bottom. Wow. Mikey and Louie like the red. So nice to watch, isn't it? You're right, Evie and Clarky. That's Adam playing the piano. It's really pretty. It's the perfect background music for our beautiful, colorful rainstorm. <laughs> Do you want to see something else that's really neat to watch? Yeah. Okay. I have something else I want to show you. We'll just put this away over here. Such nice piano music. Okay, I'm gonna push this aside. <laughs> there we go. Bye bye rain clouds. Okay, this is really neat too. So I have here a glass of water, just like the water inside the tank, but in a glass, and some raisins. And I know a way to make things not just sink, but also float back up to the top. I'll show you. So do you think these raisins will sink or float in the water? Hmm, let's find out. I'm gonna drop them in. Oh, the raisins sink. They went right down to the bottom. But what if we use soda water instead? I'm gonna fill this glass up with soda water. Soda water is fizzy water. Woo, this one's really fizzy. <laughs> Lots of bubbles inside of it. Kind of like when you have soda pop. There we go. Gotta open it slowly. There's lots of air in there and air wants to escape. Okay, we'll pour it inside this glass here. You can see all the bubbles. Fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. All right. There we go. Now watch what happens when we put the raisins in the soda water. Here they come. Look, some sink and some are floating back up to the top. It's like they're dancing. That happens because the raisins sink but the little air bubbles attach themselves to the wrinkly surface of the raisins. And air floats, so whoop, they go up to the top. But then some of the bubbles pop and they go back down to the bottom. Up and down, like they're dancing. Let's add some more raisins. Got a whole bunch of them dancing around. Woo, look at them go. They sink and float. Opposite things, they're doing both. Hey, let's sing a song about opposites together. Let's sing Open Shut Them and we can try out some different opposites in the song like sink and float. You can let me know some other opposites too. Are you ready? Okay, let's start with open, shut them. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Nice. Let's try oh, big and small. That's an opposite. Big and small, big and small. Big, 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 small, small, small. Big and small, big and small, big, 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 small, small, small. Clarky says, up and down. That's a great opposite. Let's try it. Up and down, up and down, up, 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 down, 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 up and down, up and down. Down, down, down. How low can you go? <laughs> Let's see. 
float, sink and float. And look, the raisins are still sinking and floating. Let's try sink and float. Sink and float, sink and float. Sink, 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 float, float, float. Sink and float, sink and float. Sink, 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 float, float, float. So neat. The raisins are still going. Talia says, hot and cold. Let's try that one together. Hot and cold, hot and cold. Hot, 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 cold, cold, cold. Hot and cold, hot and cold. Hot, 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 cold, cold, cold. That's a good opposite. Penelope says, please. No, thank you. Please, no, thank you. Please, no, thank you. Please, 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 no, thank you. Please, no, thank you. Please, no, thank you. Please, 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 no, thank you. What else should we do? <laughs> oh, Eleanor says our raisin looks lonely. One sad little raisin left behind. Okay, in it goes with everybody else. Ready? Boop. That was a great idea, Eleanor. Now it can be with its friends. Sinking and floating. How about stop and go? Ethan, what a great idea for opposites. Stop and go. Here we go. Stop and go. Stop and go. Stop, 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 stop. Go, go, go. Stop and go. Stop and go. Stop, 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 stop. Go, go, go. Nice job. That's a fun one. What else should we do? Hmm. Brooklyn says far and close. Ethan has a similar idea, near and far. Let's try that. We'll go near and far. Near and far. Near and far, near, 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 far, 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 near and far, near and far, near, 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 far, far, far. <laughs> Miriam from Saudi Arabia says happy and sad. Let's try it. Happy and sad, happy and sad. Happy, 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 sad, sad, sad. Happy and sad. Happy and sad. Happy, 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 sad, sad, sad. <laughs> Lauren says, loud and quiet. Caleb says that too. That's a great idea. Let's try loud and quiet. Loud and quiet. Loud and quiet. Quiet, loud, 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 shh, quiet, loud and quiet, loud and quiet, loud, 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 shh, quiet. <laughs> that was a great job, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap. Lots of great opposites. Let's see what the raisins are doing. Huh, they're still dancing. Some of them are, are now sinking. Eventually, all the raisins will sink once all the bubbles lose their bubbliness. They'll all sink down to the bottom. But some of them are still going. Float and sink up and down. That kind of reminds me of a sink or float tube I made. Take a look at this. I made this sink or float tube with some water, some food coloring, and there's glitter inside. Look. Just like the raisins, it's really neat to watch. All the glitter is flying all around, but eventually all the glitter will sink down to the bottom, just like the raisins. It's neat to watch though. Ooh, so pretty. Let's make some sink or float tubes together, everybody. I'll show you how you can do it. Just gonna wipe up all our soda water spill. <laughs> that surprised me. I got some water inside of this tube 
and we can fill it up with some things that may sink or may float. I'll show you. Got all sorts of neat stuff. Some foam pieces, some beads, some colorful elastics, and some buttons. Some are wood and some are plastic. And we know what happens to wood when it goes in water. We got some glitter too. Let me know what we should put inside of our sink and float tube. Got some food coloring, yellow, red, blue, and green. We open up our sink and float tube carefully. We can put some different things inside. What should we put inside everybody? Hmm, how about some glittery sparkles? Yeah, it shines. Put it in like that. Ooh, we can see these glittery sparkles are floating on top. The other glitter and the other sinker float tube sunk to the bottom. Hmm, how about we put some buttons inside? What do you think will happen? Got a big blue button. This black or white button is pretty cool. Whoop, that one sunk to the bottom. And how about a green button? What else should we put in? Evie says some food coloring. How about some yellow? Yeah, let's put the yellow in. Just some drops of yellow. You can see, there it goes. It's going in. What else? Penelope says some blue buttons. Ethan likes blue buttons. Here's a blue button. Sinks down to the bottom. Another one. In it goes. Mohammed's asking for the beads. Let's put some beads in. Whoop! Oh look! Some that that bead went down to the bottom. But some of them, most of them are floating. Okay, let's put a couple more beads in. Talia likes the beads too. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on this one. We'll give it a shake. Then we can make another one. You ready to shake it? Here we go. Shake, 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 shake. Let's see what happens. Ooh, some of the glitter is going down to the bottom now. Some of the buttons are down at the bottom and some of the beads. The buttons that are on the top are made out of wood. That's right, Penelope, you're right. It's a wood button. Let's see, if we turn it like this. You can see some things are sinking at the bottom and some are floating on top. Really neat. Let's try making another one together. Here we go. A new sinker float tube. What should we put in this one? How about, ooh, some of these foam pieces. These are really pretty. They got some sparkles on them. The foam pieces, yeah, I thought they would float are nice and light. There we go. We put so much in. What else should we put in? <laughs> How about some of these elastics? These elastics are really light. They'll probably float too. But we got lots of stuff floating on the top now. Martin says, please, more sparkles. Good idea. Let's put some of these sparkles in. They're really pretty. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkles. Let's see. How about, Caleb says green. Let's put some green beads inside. Green beads. I'm gonna give this a shake. See what happens. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh, they're all floating around. Okay, how about some blue food coloring? Evie likes the blue food coloring. We'll put it inside. A couple drops. Ooh. Look at the blue, there it goes. A little swirly swirl. Woo! Finale said everything's floating in this tube. Yeah, there's a lot more things floating. 
Let's see, I'll put some buttons in. I'm gonna try and find some buttons that might sink. So I know wood floats, so I'm gonna look for a plastic button. Put that in. There it goes, the button's sinking to the bottom. Nice. All right, let's shake this up, we'll see what happens. Sander, Jake, and Taysom, and Parker say, things look bigger in the water. It's true, isn't it? Let's shake up our blue sink and float too. Let's take a look. Ooh. Lots of floating in this tube, isn't it? But some things are sinking. The plastic buttons and some beads, some glitter, it got stuck down there. Hmm, really neat, let's try again. There it goes. <laughs> so nice. Let's make one more together, everybody. Got one more tube here. Mirian from Saudi Arabia says red food coloring. Okay, we'll put some red food coloring in this one. Whoa, look at that. Mickey and Louie like red too. Okay, what else? Should we make this whole thing a red one? We could put a red button. Plop. That's a wooden red button, so that's gonna float. Here's a plastic red button. Plop. Sinks right down to the bottom. Maybe we should put some other colors in because then we can see them. Here's a blue button. It floats on the top, it's wooden. And here's another one. It's plastic, but I guess it's really light. <laughs> you never know what might sink or float until you try. Did I read that Zoe tried with her pumpkin and the pumpkin floated? Sometimes it's really surprising what's gonna float. Can I put some more glitter sparkles in? Yeah. Elsa from France asks for green. Let's put some green beads in. Plop. There it goes. Plop. 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 Some foam pieces. Caitlin says purple, red, and blue. Got some sparkly blue pieces. Sparkly red piece. So nice. <laughs> All right, how about one more thing? Yeah, Edison, you're right. The red things would be camouflaged in the red water. So it's a good idea to put in some other colors. How about some elastic bands? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Try and get them on the top. You can try making these sensory, or these uh, sink or float tubes at home too. Get all the last part in. You can try putting in some things around your house into a water bottle. Shake it up, see what happens. Let's see what happens with this one. Make sure it's on tight. Ready to shake? Shake, 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 shake. Let's see. Oh, something's floating. Something's sinking. Hmm. Let's give it one more big shake. Let's look at it this way. Something's floating up to the top and something's sinking. You can see up here all the things that are floating on the top. Lots of colorful things. Really neat. Ooh, look at this sinker float bin. This sinker float tube is one of my favorites, even though it only has two things inside of it. The bottom is colored water, and the top, can you guess? It's colored oil. Oil is lighter than water, so it always floats on top. Even if I switch it upside down. Watch what happens to the orange oil. Ready? Here we go, switch. Look, the orange is still on top. Isn't that neat? We'll switch it back, switch. There it goes. The oil always stays on top of the water. Even if we shake it up, let's shake. Shake, shake, shake. Look. Wow. Water and oil 
don't like to mix together. So they turn into these big bubbles, but after a while, all the green water is gonna go to the bottom and all the orange oil is gonna go up to the top. You can see some's already starting to float to the top. Isn't that neat? Let's try making one like this together, yeah? Okay, I have one tube here that has water in it. Let's give this water some food coloring. How about a green color? We didn't do a green one, or did we? That was blue, right. Do green. Drop, drop. Drop, drop. Add some in there. <laughs> Timmy, did you think it was funny? It is pretty neat that the oil and the water won't mix. Give it a little shake. How about we add a little bit more green? We'll make it nice and dark. Put some more drops in there. A nice dark green. Give it a shake, shake, shake. Now we have to add the oil and watch what happens when we put the oil inside of the tube. I'm gonna use a funnel to get all the oil inside the tube. Uh-oh, the oil has a child-proof lock on it. Can I get it? I can! <laughs> okay, we're gonna pour the oil inside the water and you'll see it will float on top. So it won't mix with the green at all. This water, this oil is pretty clear. So here it goes. Look! It's bubbling, but then it goes right up to the top. The more we add. Look at that. Wow. The oil floats on the top. Let's see what happens when we turn it upside down. Whoop. Look, the water's on the bottom and the oil's on the top. What if we turned it sideways? <laughs> Same thing. Oil will always be on the top because it's less dense than water. Isn't that neat? I love these sinker float tubes. They're so nice to watch. You can try them at home. You can try a sink or float game of your own. Try out some different things that we didn't try in the classroom and see if they'll sink or float. You can take a picture and let me know how it goes. You can share your picture on Instagram, use the hashtag Katie's Classroom, or you can tag me at Super Simple Katie on Instagram. We love to see what you're up to at home. And if you'd like to see your photo on the show, you can send us your photo either on Instagram, you can send it to me at Super Simple Katie, or on Facebook at our Katie's Classroom Facebook page or at our website, supersimpleonline.com in the contact page. You can send us your photo and you might see it on the show the next week. Let's see some photos that, that you shared the last couple weeks. Let's take a look. Look, it's Zoe from the USA. Zoe's hanging out with a beautiful butterfly. She went to go see um, them at a, at a special butterfly place, special place for, for butterflies, and saw them coming out of the chrysalis. So neat. Jaden and Zane from Taiwan, they were watching our ant show last week and said they were going to make a pink and green ant. And look, they did. Two ants marching. Great job. Aaron, Kayla, Amy, and Melanie from Mexico. You all did a great job with your coloring. Looks perfect. Nice work. Abudi from Syria. Check out that tissue box monster Abudi made from our Halloween episode. Really great job. I like the big fluffy eyebrows. And we have some Halloween photos still of your amazing costumes. Everly from the USA. Look at that beautiful tutu and bow. You look great. Zoe from the USA dressing up as the incredible superhero. I love that superhero stance. Looking very powerful. Roxy from the USA was a cowgirl princess. I love it. What a great skirt. Rocky from Mexico. Albert Einstein, of course. Looks great. I love the mustache. Speaking of mustache, 
Alexander from the USA dressed up as Super Mario, epic mustache. Ariel from the USA dressed up as Snow White, beautiful pictures and dress. Logan from the USA hanging out with his pumpkins. That's a great pumpkin, looking really cute. And Diego from the USA dressed up as a pumpkin. So nice. Sophia and Mate from Mexico looking great in their costumes. So beautiful, ladies. And James from Ireland. It's his birthday, everybody. James turned two yesterday. A big happy birthday to James. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your photos, everybody. We love seeing what you're up to at home, so make sure to share them. Again, you can tag us on Instagram or send them on Facebook or on our website. We love to see what you're up to. I had so much fun playing sink or float with all of you today. And I know some of our friends were asking what happened to the shaving cream. It's, um, it's turned in all the, you can imagine when you've uh, added a bunch of food coloring together, it sort of turns into a brown. You know what, I'll take a picture and I'll put it on my Instagram so you can see it. You can see what happened to our little experiment over there. It's pretty neat. I had so much fun playing sink or float with you all today. And I think I learned a lot. Apple floats, potato sinks. We'll see you next time, everyone. It's time to wave our hands and sing a big goodbye to everybody. Uh oh, I just unplugged the guitar. I'm going to plug it back in. Here we go. I stepped on the cord. <laughs> Let's wave a big goodbye to all of our friends. We'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Roxy and Jaden and Zane, great aunts. Goodbye to Jimmy. Goodbye to Ali and Dave, Zoe and Mickey and Louie. Goodbye to Cora and Eliza in Illinois and Caleb and Savannah in Illinois. Michael from Israel, Danielle Nicole from Mexico, and Daenery from Peru. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Colson and Raina. Thanks for watching. Goodbye to Sky Elizabeth in the UK. Goodbye to Freya from Alabama. Bye-bye to you. Goodbye to Sierra and baby brother Chester. Goodbye to Penelope and Evie and Clarkie. Goodbye to Omar in Egypt and Carlos Gabriel, Jocelyn and Owen in Kansas City. Goodbye to three-year-old Jonah. Thanks for hanging out, Jonah. Goodbye to Edison and Eleanor in Nebraska and Eli from Texas. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to, oh, I'm seeing lots more coming in. Okay, goodbye to Benny from San Lorenzo, I hope I said that right. Goodbye to Desmond from the US. Goodbye to Rocky and his mom and dad in Mexico. Goodbye to Presley from Kansas and Camilla from Texas. Zoe from Oregon, Blake, Zoe and Everly in Arizona. Goodbye to Youthin from Brazil. Ithin, I hope I said your name right, Ithin. Goodbye to Martin from New Jersey and Lexi in Texas. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Natalie and Brooklyn in California, Ellie in California. Goodbye to Grizz. Goodbye, Rima in Bakersfield, California. Matthias, Matthias from Colombia. Goodbye to Melanie, Amy, Aaron, and Kayla from Mexico. Your drawings look great. Goodbye to Adam from Egypt, one month old. Goodbye to Harmony and Liam from Italy. Goodbye to Angelique, Angelica from Italy. Angelica, Angelica from Italy. Goodbye Angelica from Italy and Sabrina from Illinois. Tala and Hamza from Dubai. Mackenzie from North Carolina. Nevea and Yaima from Gatineau, Quebec. Goodbye to Eliana from Uganda, Isaac, Ruth, Esther, Seth, Abigail, and Lemieux. We'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see
see you next time. Bye, everybody. See you soon.